All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question. Bad boy. Now this question is based on a greedy and uh, math. Okay, now uh, you might see see call it a geometry based question, but frankly it's more about a math and a greedy solution. I hope you read the question one, but, uh, but I'll still uh, read it. What we have here is we have a grid of n rows and m columns, and initially this guy Anton is standing at some cell i j, and uh, what this guy uh, really wants to do is uh, he will throw two yo yos in some two different cells. Uh, they can be in the same cell as well. Uh, but frankly, if you think uh, entire aim is that we want this antenna to travel as much as possible. So yeah, it is allowed to be thrown in same cell, but uh, you will not do it, right? So our entire aim is uh, what now we have a grid of n rows and m columns. This antenna is standing at a you know, cell ij and uh, this really, uh, this boy decided to throw two yo-yos in the cell of the room. And now what this antenna has to do is, if this is a grid, let's say this is a grid and antenna is standing here. Now this really will throw two yo-yos, let's say one, two here. Now what this antenna has to do is, he has to pick up, pick up both of these yo-yos and then return back to its initial position. That's what it is, right? He has to pick both of them and return back to its original position. And what he can travel is, he can only travel the to adjacent side cells. So, and they have defined it. So, what they're saying is, you can travel up, down, right and left. So, the distance, uh, like the travel distance, they have defined it. So, return back to IJ by traveling only to adjacent side cells. So, you can go left, right, top, bottom. That's what it is, okay? And we want to maximize it. Really is wondering where where he should throw these two yo-yos so that the distance traveled by anten is maximized, right? So we are after maximizing the distance traveled by this anten. The question is uh, very clear, right? We have a grid of we have a grid of uh, n rows and m columns. We want to two uh, and we have this guy anten standing at uh, cell ij and we want to put two yo-yos in a way that when this anten when this anten starts from cell ij collects both of them by just going uh, in four directions and returns back to its original position, the distance is maximized. Right, that's what we want to do. Then the output we just have to return the two coordinates of two yo-yos where I'll put so from which uh, the distance will be maximized. What is the distance? Start from the initial position, pick up one yo-yo, then pick up let's say some second yo-yo, and then again come back. So this is this is what we are after, and just return me these two coordinates where you're gonna put this yo-yo. And yeah, that's that. So let's just uh, quickly see an example. Now this question uh, is based on a grid, right? So it's always it pays well to draw a grid yourself and uh, see. It will be very uh, simple observation in most of the cases because one reason it's a 900 dated question so it will the observation will be very simple but you'll have to draw it okay so don't shy away from drawing uh, longer grids okay use the space in your notebook very well so draw longer grids then only you'll be able to make good observation okay so that's what i did here and i was able to figure this out fine let's see let's see some uh, positions of anten and uh, we'll see where can we put the yo-yos and uh, what are the best position to put two yo-yos so that the distance is maximized now let's say anten is standing here at two three now, where should I put the first yo-yo? Now, where should I put the first yo-yo? Forget about, uh, like, let's think about putting the first yo-yo, then I can think about the putting the second yo-yo, right? So, what I'll do is I'll try to put the first yo-yo as far as possible. I'll try to put it as far as possible. So, how can I, like, try to go as, uh, try to go as far as possible horizontally. So, of course, going here doesn't make sense. So, maybe, let's go in this direction. Let's go in this direction. So, I'm just thinking, okay, how should we approach this question? Uh, final observation is very uh, straightforward. And, uh, it's very stupid, actually. But uh, before coming to that, we have to build up, right? So yeah, so, I'll try to go as far as possible horizontally, okay? And then I'll try to go as far as possible vertically. So going up doesn't make sense. So let's just go here, right? So if I go here, let's say I put the first yo-yo here. So what I have, what I did is I went as far as possible horizontally, and then I went as far as possible vertically, right? From here, going here doesn't make sense because the distance is less, right? Too. So I moved right direction. And from here, what is the, what is the, the farthest cell? vertically in this so I, I came here now first view i can put here right so this is i'm ensuring that the first view is as far as possible to this candidate uh this anten right now where should i put the second view of course put the second view in the cell which is farthest from this cell now which cell is farthest from this cell go as far as possible horizontally go as far as possible vertically so this corner right so this corner put the second view here right similarly uh similarly if this cell uh if this cell is the farthest to this cell Automatically, this first cell is farthest to this one, right? So what I'm saying is, guys, see, if anten was here, is fine. But if let's say anten was somewhere here, so it will first come here. Okay, maybe somewhere here. It will first come here. It will come here. So first yo-yo will be put here, and first will be put here. And what is the farthest cell from this cell? This, this, this. Okay. So what I'm saying is, my idea is these two cells, these two cells, the the corner cells, these corner, the opposite corner cells are farthest to possible. And this holds similarly for this as well. So these two cells will be farthest from it. Okay. Uh, you can check it for yourself, but it's obvious, right? Symmetry. From the symmetry, you can figure out if these two cells are farthest, these two cells will be farthest. Right. So similarly, uh, if someone is uh, standing here, then uh, let's just uh, increase the complexity a bit. So let's say if someone is standing here, then he will first go here, then here. Okay. And uh, if this is the first cell, what is the farthest cell from it? This, this, 
so this is one right right so this is what you can do so these two corners are the farthest these two corners are the farthest right so what you are seeing here is uh, your answer is either this cells so these two cells or these two cells just for brevity let's say vanten was standing here what is the maximum horizontal distance first go here then go here so put the first yo-yo here if you put the first yo-yo here what is the farthest distance from it this one right go as far as possible upwards go as far as horizontal so this will be the farthest distance right uh, all in all the point i'm trying to make here is uh, opposite corners opposite corners opposite corners are farthest that is the point i'm trying to make here right so this gives you a hint uh, putting like not a hint the question is completed here frankly yo-yos are always put in the opposite corners right yo-yos are always put in the opposite corners so this can be a good strategy uh, from your initial starting point find out uh, the position of first yo-yo and first you figure out the position of first yo-yo the second position is straightforward right if you are at this corner this is your second position if you are at this corner this is your second position right from here find out the position of the first yo-yo so go as far as possible horizontally go as far as possible vertically so this is the position of first yo-yo definitely the position of second yo-yo is this if i summarize this if you are putting a first yo-yo here your second yo-yo will be here only right if you are putting your first yo-yo here your second yo-yo will be here only or vice versa right so this is symmetric if you are putting a first yo-yo here the second yo-yo will be here if you are putting a first yo-yo here the second yo-yo will be here the answer is always the opposite corners that you figured out cool so what you can do is you can maybe write if checks and first figure out the position of the first yo-yo and then depending on what is the position of first yo-yo you can write down the position of second yo-yo so this can be done uh, you can simply write bunch of if else four i guess four five if else you will need and then you can figure out but uh, yeah that will be accepted fine uh, no issues go with it uh, but i want to simplify things even further that you can do uh, that there is no problem in that but let's try to see a little bit more about this question let's try to even simplify the condition a little bit okay let's see what is happening exactly when you are standing at some point let's say i'm here right so i'm just seeing what is the final journey of anton that's what i'm trying to see so first it has to go horizontally like this then it has to go vertically like this then if the first yo-yo here first yo-yo is here then it has to go here here pick up the second yo-yo and then come back as well right so final destination is what uh, first collect both yo-yos and then return back as well right? so this is how the final journey of anton looks fine okay this is good let me just take one more example here uh, let's just say maybe i'll just uh, remove this thing okay fine so now we know the opposite corners are the farthest right so good okay let me just take one more example here uh, i think it will, be, it will suffice so first go as far as possible here then uh, go here from this part go here go here and then you have to come back as well right so you have to come back as well okay now let's see uh, what is the total distance traveled by this anten because uh, this like by looking at it it seems as if the total distance traveled is somewhat same only see uh, first let's consider this example so this is the horizontal distance that anten has covered this is the horizontal distance anten has covered this is the horizontal distance anten has covered fine now let's uh, track the vertical distance as well this is the vertical distance anten has covered this is the vertical distance anten has covered this is the vertical distance anten has covered now what is this what are you seeing the total horizontal distance the total horizontal distance what is it it is sum of basically this these two lines right so first uh, so this entire thing what is this entire thing uh, this is simply 9 minus this is simply 9 minus 1 or you can say m minus 1 and uh, these two strips right so you can see one entire strip and one more entire strip right so one entire strip and one more entire strip but you can look at it right the total horizontal distance and what is one entire strip this is m minus 1 the total horizontal distance is m minus 1 plus m minus 1 right what is the total vertical distance let's see this uh, this vertical strip this vertical strip and this entire vertical strip so one entire vertical strip basically one n minus 1 and then if i total these two guys it is also n minus 1 right so eventually you are traveling n minus 1 distance two times the total vertical distance the total vertical distance total vertical distance is a uh, n minus 1 plus n minus 1 right let's see for the second example if you can uh, make the similar observation so i'm right now denoting horizontal by this red strip so first this then uh, horizontal strip this horizontal strip then it's entire horizontal strip so effectively you are still traveling 2 into m minus 1 2 into m minus 1 distance horizontally right here let's see the vertical distance now so vertical distance is one entire this strip this is n minus 1 and so i'm talking about this so this one this one this one right so what you effectively doing is you're still traveling two strips of n minus 1 that's what you're doing all in all what i'm saying is no matter no matter where you are standing at the total distance uh, no matter where you are standing at 
the total distance that this antenna is traveling is 2 into m minus 1 plus 2 into n minus 1. Right. So that's what I'm trying to prove. Wherever uh, wherever this guy is standing, wherever this guy is standing, the total distance in a, in his journey, if I put the yo-yos at optimal position, it will be 2 into m minus 1 plus 2 into n minus 1. Right. If you put the two yo-yos at optimal position, the total distance traveled by this guy would be 2 into m minus 1 plus 2 into n minus 1. Right. So this observation uh, is important. Okay, so we figured out that the optimal distance, if I put the yo-yos at optimal position, the distance will be 2 into m minus 1 plus 2 into n minus 1, basically two horizontal strips and two vertical strips. Right. So yeah. Now what? What next? Observe one thing here. If I put the yo-yos at any set of opposite corner, let's say I decide to put yo-yos here, put to the, irrespective of where the antenna's position is, see what is the total distance traveled by antenna. Okay. And remember that this is the optimal distance. Okay. You cannot uh, get more than this. This is the maximum distance that you can achieve. Now notice here what happens if I put yo-yos at uh, two different corners, two opposite corners, irrespective of what is the position of antenna. Let's say antenna was here. Let's say antenna was here. So what is the total distance traveled by antenna? Let's see. This. So maybe I will write it better way. This, 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 uh, this, and this. What are you seeing? Two horizontal strip, two vertical strip. Right? You put anyway here. Let's say I try to put here. It will uh, first try to pick this guy, then come here, come here, come here come here and done right so now again observe two horizontal strip and two vertical strip right two vertical strip so what does it say irrespective of which corners you put it irrespective of which set of opposite corners you put it you'll always get the maximum distance you'll always get the maximum distance you can maybe verify it for yourself also if i put the yo-yos at here also one two the same history will repeat the same thing will repeat you'll have two uh, You'll have uh, two horizontal strips and two vertical uh, strips. You'll have two horizontal strips and two vertical uh, strips that you can observe. Okay. So the question is done and dusted. You decide to put it any set of corners and job will be done. So question right now is what your answer is. What your answer is now? One one should be the position of first corner. Put it here. And what is this? This is a n n and m. Right. So that's what you should where you should put the second guy. So the coordinate of second guy will be n m. Right. Okay. So a lot happened here, but let me quickly summarize it for you. Uh, we were given a grid. We were starting uh, standing at the initial position, and what we were to find out is we were to place two yo-yos at two different positions, such that the distance, uh, the distance traveled by this antenna for, by picking these two yo-yos is maximum. So it has to he has to pick two yo-yos by moving in this four direction, in this four direction, and come back to its original position, and this distance should be maximized. We figured out, we figured out that putting the yo-yos at optimal, like putting the yo-yos in the opposite corners, gives us the optimal distance. That is, it gives us the maximum distance. Right. And uh, in every cases, in every cases, the optimal distance turned out to be 2 into n minus 1 plus 2 into n minus 1. And irrespective of what set of opposite corners I put, the answer is still 2 into n minus 1 plus 2 into n minus 1. The distance traveled by this antenna guy is still 2 into n minus 1 plus 2 into n minus 1. So you can put it anywhere. You can uh, put it 1, 1, nm, or you can put uh, what is this? This is a uh, 6, 1, and uh, basically n1, and this is what? Uh, this is a 1m. Either you put here or here, uh, either you put in this set of corners or this set of corners, your answer is still exists. So this can be one answer, 1, 1, nm of the two yo-yos. It all relies on the fact that the optimal distance is 2 into m minus 1 plus 2 into m minus 1. That you can just see by the observation. 2 horizontal strip, 2 vertical strip. Fine. So, yeah, so that's that. There's nothing about code. This is the code. Okay. Just print uh, 1, 1 and nn. That will be your answer. Okay. So, I don't think you're showing you code is anyway fruitful here. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next.